throughout the galaxy, a legend is told. On a distant planet, a grim fortress stood. Until a deadly force parted the heavens and descended upon the keep. Though brought to ruin, the ashes of that place hold an artifact of impossible power. A gun that can kill the past. So I guess that's why it's called the Gungeon instead of the Dungeon. Over time the fortress was rebuilt. And some who hear the legend would risk everything for another shot. To claim the prize and make what was done undone, they must. Into the gungeon. <laughs> I like that Lone Ranger Clint Eastwood gunslinger right there. And the theme song is no slouch either. Alright, guys, I haven't played this game, so I'm just going into it blind, so let's roll. So we have some options here to choose from the Marine, the Pilot, the Convict, and the Hunter. I guess we don't see a hunter very often in this kind of game. It's supposed to be a, a bullet hill dungeon crawler sort of roguelike. So here's something that looks a little bit like fish from Nuclear Throne. Doesn't look like we can interact with them. Alright, we can uh, head through here. Halls of Knowledge, Chamber Zero. And apparently we can bust up all of these books. So if you don't like books, <laughs> you can mess up the library. I don't know if they're supposed to hold anything. Oh, here's a little guy. Wayward soul, approach me and press E to speak. For it is I, Sir Manuel. Heed my words and I shall show you how to survive this accursed labyrinth. Continue through the door to begin your tutelage. Alright, let's just check if there can be anything in these uh, books. Onward to greatness. Yeah, that's great, Sensei. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything in the books, so let's just roll through here. And there he is again. Try flipping these tables or kicking those barrels with the E button. We can use those as cover in a gunfight. Ah, uh, we can move it also. But not from the... yeah, also from the side. Let's just flip this. There's nothing in any of those, you know. But they will stop a bullet. There's also a sign over here. So Manuel was here. Like uh, Kilroy was here with the traveling. So what about these explosive barrels? I press E, that'll throw it. I guess we could shoot it. But we don't have a gun right now. Did we pick up anything here? I'm not even sure. There's a painting of a bomb. Alright, let's continue. This is the most important lesson. You can dodge roll by pressing right click and a direction. You are invulnerable to gunfire during the first half of the dodge roll, but vulnerable again when you hit the ground. This means you can dodge through bullets and other hazards that requires precise timing. When you give the word, I'll open the barrier. Use the dodge roll to reach the right side of the room without perishing. <laughs> Wait until the last second. Then press right click to begin the roll. Are you ready to begin the test? Yeah. Let's do it. There we go. That worked out. Easy peachy. Nice work. So we'll just hit through. You should dodge roll to jump over that pit. Here we go. Dodging seems like an important concept in this game.
Go on through the door. The dodge roll is the first and best way to avoid dying in a gunfight. Sometimes though, the number of bullets can be overwhelming. Like right there. For instance, there's no dodging through that, but there is a way to clear the path. These are called blanks. Using one will delete all enemy projectiles in a room and stop enemies from shooting for a short period. They will also push nearby enemies away, great if you need a second to reposition. Pick them up by walking over to them. Use them by pressing the Q button. Use a blank to clear the way of bullets and then quickly make it through the gap. So press Q here. And we'll just go. Excellent. Blanks refill every floor. So use them when you need to. They can also be found throughout the gungeon, but I wouldn't rely on that. Why not? You've got the basics. So I suppose you've earned a reward. A gun befitting your stature and experience. Go on, open it. Is that a P, P shooter? <laughs> Use the mouse to aim and left click to fire. Yeah, it is a pea shooter. Baby's first gun. So now we can fire it. Reload with the R button. But first you'll need something to shoot. One of the gungeon's natural inhabitants. Cruel, savage and bloodthirsty. It looks like a bullet with a gun. Now. Kill him. So we'll shoot him with the peas. Cold blooded. Truly, you are ruthless. <laughs> the next rooms will be real gunfights. Kill all the enemies in each room and the doors will open. What did you say? I'll meet you a few rooms ahead. Now go. Okay. Just wanna check if we can get anything from uh, beating on these barrels. But I guess not. So let's just continue. And we'll reload. That takes time. Uh, I guess we should have dodged through that bullet, of course. Just reload. We'll tip this. We'll stand here. I thought we would be safe behind the table. Let's just reload again. We'll continue. So we only have two hearts left. So just be a little, more careful, a little bit more careful here. I threw down a blank. Let's just reload again. We have a lot of blanks, so I guess we shouldn't be too uh, stingy with them. This guy's got a shotgun. And he looks like a shotgun bullet. Over here. You made it. You know how to dodge roll, shoot and use blanks, but there's more to learn. You need to know how to use items that don't exist in gun form. This medkit, for example, I will, it will replenish your health. Pick it by approaching it and hitting the E button. You still have a bit of fight in you, so you might want to wait to use it. Whatever you decide to do, remember that the space button uses items. Okay, hit on through. So if you need to heal, we'll press the space button. Was that the wind? No, we're underground. If you shoot at him, it looks like he has like a force field. <laughs> it's like Obi-Wan Kenobi thing going on there. You can't actually shoot him. You see that thing on the other side? That's a teleporter. Whenever you find one, you can always return here as long as you aren't in combat. So use it. First open the map by holding tab, then click the <laughs> whatever symbol you wish to warp to. Got it? Or should I explain it again? Ah, we got it. Good. Now use the teleporter to cross the gap. So press tab, and then we can click this. We'll teleport right over here. Remember, you can warp to any teleporter on the map. Not just once in the same room, but they won't work if you are in combat. If you press E while standing on that portal, you can use it to teleport back to where you were. I'll be waiting a few rooms north of here. You should explore. Try to find a better gun before you challenge the boss. So we have a boss fight coming up. Uh, I think that... I'm still trying to see if we can get anything from the environment. Oh, I fell in the water there. <laughs> <laughs> so we died from that. But we're back in business. So let's head this way here. And here we have the enemy. 
Oh, there was a kamikaze grenade coming at us. Alright, let's just reload. So now I can't hit him. He's hiding behind the table there. And there's a shotgun. So that took care of those guys and we opened up a teleporter. Can we only go north? No, we can head this way. So we're on the lookout for a better gun. So when he died, he sent out the uh, projectiles in all directions. So it doesn't look like there's anything in here. So he came up empty handed. Let's check to the right side here, see if we can find a better gun. We don't want to face the boss with a pea shooter. Right, let's try this uh, thing here where we reset the bullets and push them back. Jump over here and we can head down south. Ah, here's a, a box. So that's an AK-47 it looks like. Yeah, except no substitutes. There's also something written. Use control to switch guns. If you have two or more guns, hold control to slow time and pick the one you want. Okay. So now we can switch between the P-Shooter and the AK-47. We'll just go with the uh, AK-47 for now. Ah, so there's a pressure plate right there. Opened up a little shortcut here. How very Dark Souls. Alright, this is north. Now we can probably do the boss fight, but what's this? Ah, it's just uh, little pieces of the environment, nothing in them. Here's another teleporter. And this must be the entrance to the boss room. Nothing in those either. Speak with me when you're ready for your final challenge. Let's just uh, scope out the room, so it might be a little bit cramped in here. And we do have the, some blanks that we can use. And a medkit. Are you ready to put all you have learned to the test? Yes, let's do it. Then, face me in single combat. Ah, so we have to fight him. So I hope he uh, deactivated his force field. It doesn't look like he did. Ah, now he did, so we can hit him. So here's the bullet hell part of it. We just used that one. Ah, uh, we could have dodged through it, actually. We didn't have to, to use a blank. I don't think we have any blanks left now. Dodge through that. There we go, he's down. Cease fire, cease fire. <laughs> Unlocked, peace shooter. Let's talk to him. You've bested me, I, the great manual. So long have I ruled these halls, only to be undone by the likes of you. The reign of Sir Manuel, master of the gungeon, ends unceremoniously. You've done it. You beat the entire game. <laughs> yeah, that was it. <laughs> Leave me here to die again. And he subs. Alright, let's go through the door. Let's see what happens. Now we can enter this. Is that an elevator? Let's just check if there's anything here first. Now we're back at the breach. And now we have a pit. This little dog here, or <laughs> whatever that is. Maybe it's a hamster. So why are they barring our way now, again? You are now ready to enter the gungeon. Ah, so we just have to talk to them and we'll get through. So we already completed the tutorial. Keep of the Lead Lord. Chamber 1. That looks ominous. A shrine to an old gunslinger. There is an inscription. Kill your past, you already damned your future. The rest is worn away. So it's a sculpture of Clint Eastwood without a head. Alright, let's head this way. So now we have a different gun and we lost our AK. And now they, they seem to be shooting some, uh, some uh, tougher waves of bullets at us. So these are angry books. I think we cleared that room, so let's head north. 
Ah, oh, we have a little map up here as well. Does it shot behind us? Yeah. Ah, what is that? Some really big guys with swords. Right, let's hide in here for a little bit. Wait for the wave to get past. I think we took down the first one. We will hit the other way around. So you can tip that table and use it as cover. That worked out. So we opened up that door down there again. So it seems that the room's only locked when uh, it has enemies in it. So let's hit up here. That's a little... Is that a ghost? It looks like uh, those little uh, hooded creatures from uh, Star Wars. Uh, that's a slime. Alright, let's tip this. The slime breaks into smaller pieces. So what about a pit? Does that not do anything at all? We got a key. I think this is a key. And there's no... It doesn't look like there's anything we can grab in here. So these crystal marks must be the rooms that we haven't been to yet, so just head south. this. Ah! I use a blank here. And a medkit. Ah, we don't have a medkit anymore. That's it. Only in the tutorial. So we're gonna tip that. I'll just hide there for a little bit. Ah, I ran right into that. Getting a little bit low on health here. There's a big guy. I to tip this in half. He has a melee strike also. So he's down. Let me drop some stuff. Is there anything in this room? Doesn't look like we can pick anything up here. So let's just hit the, to the east here. Ah, there's something. This looks like a bracelet or a ring. Ruby bracelet. Drone guns explode. Let's just reload and head back. So we're a little bit low on health, so it would be nice to find a medkit. Ah, we can teleport, of course. We don't have to walk. Teleport right up there. Press the tab key and click this thing. Ah, there's a cheese. Ah, yeah, we can't move out of the... Ah, damn it. I forgot that uh, the door is shut behind us. So what happened here? So this is an unlock. So the pea shooter has joined the shootout. You died. We played the hunter class in the keep area for four minutes. Was this run? And we collected 20 money and we killed 23. The past still haunts you. So if you press space, we get a quick restart. Escape, return to breach, killed by bullet kin. And these are the items that we had. So it looks like we did have another weapon we could have used by pressing the control key and switch to it. Is that a tennis ball and a bracelet? Alright guys, we'll give this another shot in the next episode. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you all next time.